Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at flash text in Dreamweaver. Now, if you're a designer designing a website, one of the things that you have to remember and you have to work around is the fact that users are not going to have every font that you have installed on your computer installed on theirs. So you're kind of limited to the amount of fonts you can use and still you usually assign more than one font to a page if you're using CSS let's say you might assign four or five different fonts so if they don't the first font you keep falling back and falling back until you get to default fonts um, that every computer has so let's say that you want to use a font face that you have on your computer and you know this is the font you want to use well that's where you're going to use flash text. Now basically what flash text does is it uses your font face and it generates an SWF file and displays that on your website so you don't have to worry about whether or not the person has your font. Now before you get all excited you can't, well you can but I wouldn't recommend that you use flash text for whole paragraphs and whole pages of reading because it'll just take forever to load and people who don't have the flash plugin will not be able to view your content. Now, 90, about 95% of people using the web have the latest Flash player, so it's really not a big deal. You don't really have to worry about people not having it, but as I mentioned before, you really don't want to create entire blocks and paragraphs of text using Flash text. It's more or less going to be something like this right here. This is a piece of Flash text. This sort of header uh, for your web page, you might use it for a logo. These are Flash text, sort of subdivisions within the page. All that is flash text that uh, I have set up here in this page, and I'm going to show you how to create that. So I'm going to delete this bit of flash text here. Oh, another nice thing about flash text is that it's very easy to go back and edit it later on. So you don't have to worry about any of that. It's very, very easy to edit. What we're going to do is come up here in the common tools, and I'm going to select the flash or the multimedia drop down menu, and I'm going to select flash text. And here is the insert flash text dialog box. First thing you're going to want to do is choose a font. And in my case, I'm going to select this font called Bolton. That's what I was using before. I'm going to leave the size at 30 and I'm going to align it left. I'm not going to make it bold or italics. I'm going to give it a color. I want to select more than just grayscale colors. So I'm going to hit color cubes and I'm just going to select one of these dark desaturated blues something like that maybe or you know what I could do I could just use this eyedropper and select that exact blue that I was using before just like that you can also give this a rollover color I'm not going to use this as a button so I don't really need to give it a rollover color you can still give it a rollover color if you want we can make give this a nice desaturated blue color in here you type your text I'm just going to type the words our message. Now notice it's going to show you your font here. So if I were to select century, it's going to change it to century. I don't want to use century though. I want Bolton. And that is what it's going to be. It's going to be Bolton and of course we want to show our font. If we don't show the font, it just gives a default font. Here's a link. If you want this to be linked to something, you can browse to the page and select the target whether or not it opens in a new page or opens within itself or if you have frames going on. There's all kinds of things you can do with your target. A background color. Um, I'm going to choose the background color of my web page or the area that this is sitting on, which is F1, F1, F1. Um, if you leave that blank, it's just going to be white. So unless you're putting it over a white background, you're probably not going to want to do that. And I'm going to save it as something. You can see here I have our message.swf. I'm going to save this as our message uh, 2.swf. And I'm just going to save it. And here I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me for some accessibility attributes. I'm going to leave them blank and hit OK. Now you can see here I have our message dropped right into place, just like that. And it's very easy. Now I'm just going to save this and I'm going to hit F12 to preview this in my browser. And there it is. When I roll over, you can see it gets that dark blue. But I don't have it linked, so you know there's not really a point to having it uh, a rollover color. So let's say I realize that, and I'm going to edit it. You can just double click it, or you can come over into the properties panel and hit edit. And here I'm just going to delete. Oops, I'm just going to delete the rollover color. 
grab it. You can just leave it blank, like that, hitting delete. Or you can go into the rollover color and just select no color, just like that, and hit OK. OK again. Save this file, preview it on the web, and no rollover color. And just like that, we have created flash text. Super duper easy stuff to work with, and it's really an easy way to quickly add a nice touch to your page, certainly for just these little breaks in between blocks of text, maybe something at the top of the page. I don't know if you want to use it as a logo. You could use it as a logo if you haven't designed yourself a logo, but you can really use it for anything like that, and it's really a nice, quick, easy way, and certainly something that's very editable. And um, as I mentioned before, you don't really have to worry about people not having the Flash browser because virtually, or the Flash player, excuse me, virtually everybody out there has it. Something like 95 to 98%, something crazy like that, already have the newest Flash player. So it's not really a big deal. Now, one other thing is over here in the Files panel, you're going to notice that that SWF file has not showed up. All you have to do here is hit the Refresh Files, and there it is, our message to .swf, and you would upload that to your server as well as this index.html and then it would appear in its place on this index.html. That's it for this one. That's how you create flash text. It's super easy stuff to work with, and if you start using it, you're probably gonna love it. So, I hope you learned something from this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please go check the site out. That's www.tutvid.com.